Even though North America and Europe are separated by quite a large ocean, they do share a lot of the same wildlife. Many birds and large herbivores can be found on both continents, and so can many large apex predators. In today's video, I will be focusing on that. these animals, and I will be trying to figure out if these predators are more aggressive towards humans in North America or Europe. This of course is quite a complicated thing to figure out, as there are many factors that lead to animal attacks on humans. Bears are proper cute when they're small, and they just grow up to some big grizzly thing. I think they look cute even when they're massive, they just look big and cuddly, but obviously you can't cuddle them. Yeah, it's, it's when they... thing is you just know how aggressive they can be to humans, that's yeah. the problem. I think if they were super friendly, people would have them as pets yeah. <laughs> if they were domesticated. Yeah. Animal attacks on humans are more common in places with human-wildlife conflict, and in areas where the animals are desperate. If a certain animal is a victim of habitat loss or poaching, it's far more likely to attack humans, as it will be struggling for food and it will view humans as a threat. Mm. Animal attacks on humans are also more common in areas where people start to feed the predators, as the animals will then start to associate humans with food. In some cases, the predators will see humans directly as a food source, and this usually results in the predator being shot. These factors are part of the reason why it's hard to determine if predators are more aggressive in one area than they are in another, but I'll do my best with the information at hand. The first predator we will be focusing on the today bear. is the brown bear, and this bear can be found across Eurasia and North America. The brown bear is one of the largest land predators alive today, and it has quite a few subspecies across its range. Some of the subspecies in Spain and Italy are known for being less aggressive, but Europe was once home to a much more carnivorous bear. The Eurasian brown bear is the most common subspecies of brown bear in Europe, and it is also one of the largest subspecies. North America is also home to quite a few distinct subspecies, with some of the most famous being the grizzly bear and the Kodiak bear. I wonder how that bear in Europe got instinct, because I've never heard of that bear. That's the first uh, I've seen of that. Comment below, guys, if you guys know how it got instinct. Did it get, you know, taken out by... It showed a lion attacking one, so is it like the lion's outdone them or it could be humans hunting them it could be the food chain hmm. it's mad because sometimes i think can't they produce quicker than they die but clearly but this is not. another thing if they were to produce quick let's just say for example the lion and the bear they eat the same animal let's just say yeah. i don't know a deer for a deer. instance yeah. I, I don't think bears eat deer but this is example guys don't come at me yeah um let's just say there were more you know, bears, then lions. And if they were all eating the deers, the lions will eventually become extinct. Mm. So it's like... Less, less, less food. Yeah. So they're, they're competing for food, I yeah. guess. And if they're getting hunted, they'll be getting hunted young as well. Yeah. The Kodiak bear is one of the largest subspecies of brown bear in the world. And it's only really rivaled by the Kamchatka brown bear and the Azuri brown bear. <laughs> Strangely, there is a very long list of fatal bear attacks in North America, Damn. and they are documented very extensively. The information Loads. on fatal bear attacks in Europe is a lot harder to come by, but there have been a few notable attacks in recent years. The most recent fatal brown bear attack in North America happened on the 29th of September 2023, and unfortunately two individuals and their dog lost their lives. This happened in a national park in Alberta, and eventually the bear was shot. Early That's exactly what I said in the national park one. Remember I said, what if you come across a bear like that in, your, in a national park? You're pretty much screwed if that bear is, you know, hungry and has an instinct to kill at that given moment. So especially there, they seem quite old, those two people, regardless of being with a dog. A dog can't defend you. Did they do anything to provoke the bear or did the bear just come after them? Doesn't say. No idea. I mean, that's the thing. If an animal's hungry and there's no food, it'll do what it can. Yeah, and, and a bear is massive compared to a human. A human so is, if food humans food are not chain. a threat to yeah. a bear. Earlier on last year, there was also another fatal brown bear attack, and this attack happened in Yellowstone. Unfortunately, Yellowstone. in this case, a 48-year-old woman lost her life. Damn. But these were the only two fatal brown bear attacks in North America last year. The topic of bear attacks in Europe is quite raw at the moment, as there have been a few incidents over the past few days. 
A woman fell to her death in Slovakia after being chased by a bear. And only hours later, a bear was filmed attacking people in a Slovakian town. Holy Thankfully, shit. no one was killed in this attack. But it was a very different story in Romania back in 2019. Romania is home to most of the bears in Europe, with an estimated 6,000 bears living in the country. Back in 2019, there were three fatal attacks in the country, and this led to many people demanding the government to control their numbers. There was another fatal attack in Italy last Jogger. year, and there was some controversy as some believed that the wrong bear was captured, and there was some debate over what should be done to the captured bear. On average, there are more fatal brown bear attacks in North America than there are in Europe, but this could be down to the population of bears on both continents. The US is home to around 32,500 brown bears, and Canada wow. is home to around 25,000 wow, brown bears. That's a lot. Europe is home to at least 17,000 brown bears, but this hard. Yeah, that definitely plays a part because that's 50, over 50,000 brown bears in that area between Canada and America. That's against 17,000. Yeah. 50,000, you're going to have more incidents, right? Yeah. It's just, it's you're only You're definitely going to come across a bear. It doesn't mean those bears are more aggressive. It's just strength in numbers. It's going to happen. It compares to the North American population. As I've already covered, some of the subspecies in Europe are known for being less aggressive, and the US is home to some of the larger, more aggressive subspecies. This is why I think it's safe to say that the North American bears are more aggressive, and they're more dangerous to humans than the European bears. Because they're bigger. The next predator we will be taking a look at is the grey wolf. Once again, Europe and North America are home to quite a few subspecies. And these subspecies differ in shape, size, and behavior. Even though many people view the wolf as an extremely deadly animal, they do not kill as many people as we're led to teeth. believe. In many cases, people will try and use the fact that they're a predator as an excuse to eliminate them. And this is why wolf That's populations sad. have been plummeting over the past few centuries. Because these animals prey on livestock, they are often shot and killed by humans. But there are often better ways to deal with this conflict. Europe is home to at least 17,000 grey wolves. Whereas North America is home to at least 75,000. Wow. The majority of these wolves can be found in Canada. And these animals are regularly hunted here. Four of the most recent wolf attacks happened in Europe. But oh, it says provoked, unprovoked, unprovoked, unprovoked. So of these four, one was provoked. Farmer male was provoking a wolf. None of these attacks were fatal to humans. It does seem like there are far more wolf attacks in Russia, but this would make sense as there are around 300,000 wolves in oh, Russia. That. One of the most recent fatal wolf attacks in Europe happened in Ukraine, and this was all the way back in July 2012. The victim of this attack was only two years old, and tragically he was taken while at a family gathering. One of the most recent fatal That's wolf attacks bad. in North America happened all the way back in 2010, and this is when a 32-year-old teacher was killed. From the data, it's clear that there are far more wolf attacks in Europe, but the overwhelming majority of these attacks are non-fatal. Many of these attacks were due to rabies, and mm. most of the victims walked away with minimal injuries. So overall, it seems like the wolves in Europe are slightly more dangerous. But these animals aren't as aggressive towards humans as we're led to believe. The final predator we will be taking a look at is the polar bear. And this is easily the most dangerous predator in this video. I'm hearing the polar bear is the most dangerous bear of all the bears. Which really? I didn't know. You guys in the comment section of our last animal video told us that. I kept seeing it. So the polar bear is meant to be like, Basically, if you're face to face with a polar bear, you'll consider yourself dead. <laughs> Brown bear, apparently, you could. One of the bears, they said you could scare. One of them, you, uh, you lay down because you know you're fucked, but it, it might leave you. Polar bear, you, you're considered dead. You're considered dead already. Polar bears are so stunning. I thought they were like friendly because they're like, you know, just the, they lie and they're in the snow. You, you see them rolling pandas. around. Yeah, they're not like, pandas. <laughs> <laughs> they give that look, but yeah. meant to be the most dangerous. Yeah. Learn something new. The polar bear is of course closely related to the brown bear, and these two species can even interbreed. The polar bear is the largest extant species of bear, and it's one of the few predators that views humans directly as a food source. Oh, wow. Thankfully, humans do not come into contact with polar bears that often, but when they do, it can be very dangerous. 
There was a fatal polar bear attack in Wales, Alaska last son. year, where a mother and her son were killed. Before this, there were two fatal polar bear attacks in Canada in 2018, and these attacks happened in the same territory, and they were only a few weeks apart. In Europe, there's only a few places where you can find polar bears, and one of these areas is the Svalbard Archipelago. There was a fatal polar bear attack here in 2020, and a 38-year-old man lost his life. In 2011, a polar bear attacked a group of students and their guides, and this resulted in one person losing their life. Thankfully, attacks such as these are very rare, and understandably, people are very cautious in areas with polar bears. Problem polar bears are often shot before they get the chance to attack humans, but sometimes people find themselves in the wrong place at the wrong time. This section is very hard to judge, mostly due down to the lack of fatal attacks and the small areas in which these bears visit. As there are slightly more attacks in North America, I think it's fair to say that they have the more dangerous polar bears, but you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. If there are any other animals that you think I should have featured in this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But until next time, goodbye. A lot of people have lost their lives to these animals, so... The polar bears are the most vicious and they actually look at humans as a direct source of food. So the same way they'll catch a fish in the sea, in the lake, they see Do you humans, think it's because they don't come across humans as much? So they just think, and no, they're just, massive as well. I think it's just the food chain. Yeah. Like, I think it's just food chain. Like, to them, they are, you know, bigger than us, stronger than us. They're the king of the ice. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> like, we're just... Sm a puny thing in the food chain in comparison yeah. to, to them. So, and like you said, because we don't come across them often, when they do see a human, they probably think, Ooh, Oh, Oh, something different. Let something me take a little yeah. nibble over this there. This is a treat. Yeah. Damn. Guys, thank you for recommending that video. It is very interesting to know these things. If you see a polar bear, we're screwed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep commenting below other videos. For now, peace out. Bye.